Hi, I'm Mariah Johnson, Cultural Programming Manager at the Dayton Metro Library, here for another book recommendation for LGBTQIA History Month. What do you think of when you hear Greenwich Village, New York City? Maybe the TV show Friends, Stonewall, NYU? What about a women's prison? The Women's House of Detention, A Queer History of a Forgotten Prison by Hugh Ryan, pulls this largely forgotten history out of the shadows and into the spotlight. Active from 1929 to 1974, tens of thousands of women, trans men, and gender nonconforming people inhabited the cells of this prison. Often drugged, forced to submit to invasive examinations and living in overcrowded and filthy cells, those incarcerated within the walls of the House of D still created family and fought for queer liberation. In fact, during the Stonewall Uprising, those who were incarcerated at the House of D set fire to their belongings, tossing them out of the windows while screaming, gay rights, gay rights, gay rights. Here's an excerpt from the introduction. We live in the age of mass incarceration. If we extrapolate these findings to the nearly 250,000 women currently incarcerated in America, at least 100,000 are queer. And that's after decades of LGBTQ, feminist, anti-racist, and anti-prison activism, which have supposedly made our criminal legal system more fair. During the years the House of D was active, which spanned the single most homophobic period in American history, the percentage of queer people it engaged was almost certainly higher. How much higher? We'll never know for sure. But records show that queer women and trans masculine people were sentenced to the House of D for such crimes as smoking, forgery, petty larceny, being homeless, attempting suicide, murder, wearing pants, sending the definition of the word lesbian through the mail, associating with idle or vicious persons, staying out late, accepting a ride from a man, vagrancy, alcoholism, prostitution, possession of narcotics, waywardism, disobedience, stealing rare books, being alone on the street, rape, drug, addiction, and lesbianism itself. Yet the impacts of queer people on prison history and the impacts of prisons on queer history are rarely examined. Even when they are, the focus is mostly on men." End quote. Filled with the stories and words of the people who experience incarceration at the House of D, the Women's House of Detention is a remarkable story of a fundamental location in queer history in America. This story reminds us of the work done before us and the work still left to do. Request a copy today at your Dayton Metro Library.